Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find a solution to these four logarithmic equations. But you should know that it is always recommended to know the basic laws of logarithm and indices before solving any problem related to logarithm. So now let us start. Let me copy the first question here. Okay, here is the question. We have 2 log x to base a minus log of x minus 1 base a and to the right we have log of x minus 2 also base a okay let us apply one of the laws of logarithm it says that if a constant is multiplying a log that constant can always serve as a power of that term which in this case we have as x log of x power 2 base a minus log of x minus 1 also base a and to the right we still have log of x minus 2 in base a another law of logarithm it says that if you have two terms that are related with a subtraction and the two terms have the same base you are always free to assign them a single log divide the first expression by the second one so this becomes log of x squared divided by x minus 1 base a and to the right we have log of what x minus 2 base a now you can see we have only two expressions this and this and both of them have a common log therefore we can equate these terms under parentheses you can now say that x squared divide by x minus 1 is equal to x minus 2. We can cross multiply. x squared is equal to, if you multiply this by this, you're going to obtain x squared minus 3x, then plus 2. Subtract x squared from both sides. We have 0 to the left, and to the right we have negative 3x plus 2. This implies that 3x is equal to positive 2. Now, if you divide both sides by 3, you have x equal to 2 divided by 3. This is our solution. But will this x equal to 2 divided by 3 satisfy the original equation? All right, what you should know is that we don't have a negative log. If x is equal to 2 divided by 3, if you substitute it here, you're going to get a negative result because 1 is greater than 2 divided by 3. Likewise, if you plug it here, you're going to obtain a negative result. Therefore, we don't even have to test. This solution is an extraneous solution. So now let us move on to the second problem. We have log of x squared plus 1 minus 2 multiplied by log of x and to the right we have 1. Alright, let us provide a solution to this. We have log of x squared plus 1 minus log of x squared and to the right we have log 10. Reason? log 10 is also equal to 1. Remember, all of these logs are in base 10. So log 10, base 10 is equal to 1. Let us apply another log. You can see these two terms have the same log. Therefore, we can take this and divide by this. We have log of x squared plus 1 divided by x squared. And to the right, we have log 10. From left to right, we have common logs. So now we can equate these terms. Let me do it to the other side. Therefore, x squared plus 1 divided by x squared is equal to 10. Cross multiply, we have x squared plus 1 is equal to 10x squared. We can take this one to the right. It becomes negative. 
we have 1 is equal to 9x squared. Divide both sides by 9. So we can write this as x squared equal to 1 divided by 9. Take square root of both sides. We have x to be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 divided by 9. This is equal to plus or minus 1 divided by 3. So this is our solution. And again, we have to test in the main equation. We have two values. One is negative and one is positive. For the negative one, we can now see that it will not satisfy this because we don't have a negative log. But for the positive one, I believe it will satisfy this equation. Therefore, we can now conclude by saying x is equal to 1 divided by 3. Now, let us move on to problem number 3, which says that if log y to base 2 is equal to 3 minus log of 4 to the power of 3 over 2 base 2, we are asked to find this value of y. So what we are going to do here is to first of all simplify the right hand side. In the end, we can relate the left and the right hand side to obtain the value of y. So now let us begin with the solution. Remember, I told you we are going to simplify the right hand side. So the right hand side will be, you know, this 3 can also be written as 3 multiplied by log 2 base 2. Why? Because log 2 base 2 is the same thing as 1. And 1 times 3 will not change anything. Minus, we have log base 2 of 4 raised to the power of 1 over 2 multiply by 3 for a reason because we know 4 to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of 4 and square root of 4 is the same thing as 2 so this can now be simplified as 3 log of 2 base 2 minus log of 2 power 3 base 2 remember this 3 can now serve as a power of 2 so we have log of 2 power 3 base 2 minus log of 2 power 3 base 2. You know, we can simplify this as log of 2 power 3 divided by 2 power 3 all in base 2. Finally, you can see that this is the same thing as log 1 base 2 because these two times are exactly the same. So they equal to 1. Alright, now we can take this one and relate it to the left hand side. From the original equation, it says that log of y base 2 is equal to what is on the right hand side. And what is on the right hand side has been simplified to log 1 base 2. So this is log 1 base 2. Now by relating the left hand side to the right hand side, it implies that y is equal to 1. And hence, this is our solution. y is equal to 1. Now let us take the final one. Alright, here is our last problem, but it requires substitution. So let y be equal to log of x base 3. This implies that y squared minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 0. Now we have formed a quadratic equation which we can solve, I think, by factorization. So let us form our two factors. This is y, this is y. We have to think of two numbers which when we multiply them together, we get positive 9. And when added off together, we get negative 6. The numbers are negative 3 and negative 3. Remember, this quadratic expression is a perfect square quadratic equation. All right. If you set each of these to be equal to 0, in each case, you are getting y is equal to positive 3. So y is equal to 3. But from here, we have learned that y is equal to log of x base 3, which we can now substitute as 3. So, log 
x inverse 3 is equal to 3. From the definition of logarithm, this 3 here as the base raised to the power of this number right here will be equal to this x. So 3 raised to the power of 3 is equal to x. And hence x is equal to 27. And this is our final solution. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.